welcome back to part two of the Banjo Kazooie Xbox 100% no RBA route. All right, so we made it to this door in the last part after Spiral and Mumbo's Mountain. Uh, there's a little trick we can do here. Uh, getting into Talon Trot, basically right when you're going through this load zone, you can not like that, but I mean. Not like that, but you can get it. It's possible, okay? Um, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't save much time, but I kind of want to get it. <laughs> wow. All right, yeah, let's just... Uh... <clears throat> there we go. Wow, we did it. Okay, so yeah, then we're going to come over here. Spam A. Um, okay, so normally Grunty's gonna be talking here and you're gonna be able to get both of those in while she's talking and you won't get that bottles Basically just run up to this puzzle spam a um, You'll get both pieces in while Grunty is talking uh, And then you'll come up here and this is when you'll have to sit through some bottles text um, But you're gonna press a he's gonna say exactly what he said in that last puzzle right there uh, Except it should come up right here and then you're going to press A again. He's going to say, if you want to place all your pieces, just press the right trigger. Now, whenever we're opening puzzles from here on out, we can just press right trigger. Um, you just got to get through some text in these first two puzzles. And then we're going to come, go straight to Treasure Trove Cove. We're going to jump off here. Nice landing. And then you can jump right up here. Bang, bang. Not like that. Um, yeah. You need to go do one of these. <laughs> do it better than that. Alright, so we're going to be doing a double death, death warp route uh, here. So... You're going to want to leave two notes up here because we're going to be back here on our first death warp. We're going to come back to the start, obviously. Uh, this is only possible on Xbox because you can die and keep your notes. So we're going to grab these two notes here, jump off the back, grab the Jinjo. And then just make our way over to the ship. And we're going to go straight up to the flight pad. Uh, going to try and grab... All these, gonna grab all these notes and get all these feathers as well and then fly here. So, this part, to get this note in flight, what you're gonna wanna do is count seven flaps. On seven, on flap seven, hold down on the joystick, on the uh, left stick. And then it's gonna go, you're gonna flap eight, nine, and right on nine, you're gonna let go of holding down and you should fall right onto it. So it's gonna be like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, let go at nine, and... You're gonna get the note. Ah! I fucked it up. Sorry, lads. But uh, if you follow that, it should should work out for you every time. You're going to want to stay in flight for that note. So it's going to be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, let go. Get the note, flap. You can get caught in here. If you get caught, just flap again right away. And then come down into a second opening right into the there to grab the jiggy. If you get stuck, if you don't get stuck on the alcove, you can fly straight across. Um, you're gonna hit this X, grab these feathers if you can. It's gonna be useful. Jump off and then spam A, land here. <clears throat> Jump to this crate, and you're gonna do these steps. Grab all the notes on the steps. Jump into this box, grab the tokens. Uh, you can try and get out in that cycle. Uh, you might get closed on. Grab the rest, and this is gonna be the first quick dive 
that we do. Um, a quick dive is basically when you're in talent shot, you're gonna want to slide like that. And you're gonna want to enter the water while you're in that animation. When he's getting out of talent shot, when he's just standing up like that. You're gonna slide and just let go of left trigger and should quick dive. Slide, let go. And just practice that a couple times. So you start getting good quick dives. Grab the jiggy. <clears throat> Cause quick dives are gonna be throughout the route. You're gonna get these three notes. You're gonna wanna ideally be like three health for the first death warp. So you're gonna try and be at three. It doesn't really matter, but uh not gonna like save huge amounts of time, but yeah. You're gonna come down here, try and grab this in flight. Just flap right when you grab that jiggy. Come back out. One, two, three, four. Okay, that was bad. I'm gonna redo that. I like to do four. Oh wait, I'm actually out of feathers. Four flaps, but you're gonna just come up here and grab this Jinjo on your way up. And then beak bomb and peck into these notes. Grab these ones, hit the X over here. I'm gonna grab some feathers here. You can grab some if you're if you're low. Uh grab these. Jump over to this tree, grab all four notes here, and then jump back. Uh this setup kinda weird. I like to just run up to this line right here. Kinda like right on the edge and just do two. Usually works out. You can experiment a little for yourself. And then uh, continue onwards. It's gonna. Now, here, I'm gonna fly up. Right when we get this token, we're gonna flap into that token. We're gonna do two flaps and then hold straight up on the joystick to try and get the uh, nose dive into the three notes. Kind of hard to pull off, but you can get it kind of consistently if you do it this way. So you're just going to fly straight across. You're going to one, two flaps, hold straight down. Yeah, see, I missed one, but kind of hard to get. Just practice. Grab that. You don't really need to get this Jinjo here. You're just going to want to bomb over there. Try and fall into that. Uh, honeycomb. If not, it's not a big deal. Just loop around. Grab this honeycomb and then don't do that, but you're going to want to beak bomb up towards here, this outcove, and try and get this jiggy right here in flight. Let's skip the dance. If not, it's not a big deal. Uh, jump over here. Try and grab these feathers on your way down. Uh, try not to completely miss the platform like me. Uh, there's a backup you can do right here. Get back up. If you fall, you can also come over here. Um, another spot for feathers as well. You need them. Uh, but this is another way to get back up a little quicker. It's another backup. If you happen to fall like I did there. <sighs> Fucking hell. Please. Oh my god, sorry about that. Alright, so you're gonna wanna try and get these feathers on your way down. If you miss them, you don't really have to go for them. There's more we can get later, but when you're falling from the alcove up there, try and grab them. And then you're just gonna jump across, grab this Jinjo, if you didn't get it already in that beak bomb. Uh, hit the X, grab the notes. And then I like to jump to this tree just for more feathers. Uh, if you fall off, whatever, just get over to this chest, get inside, get the notes in here, jump out of there, come over here, grab this token here. 
And then, go ahead and do this. You can shoot an egg at this chest, uh, or you can peck it. You do have to wait a second, like, longer than you would think, because your egg shot can go right through that chest, and so can your Rattata Rat. But, get that Jiggy from the chest, however you prefer. Jump over here. Grab the notes. Head in here. Gonna hit the B. Gonna hit the A up here. And then... Enjo. Follow exactly like this. <clears throat> Kaz. Oh, grab the notes here. Grab the other notes. Uli. I. E. And now we're gonna death warp here. So you're gonna wanna get to one health. I have a little. You're gonna wanna take a hit, jump for the jiggy, grab the jiggy, and then. You're gonna want to land on the crab there and to avoid this dance. If you dance like that, not the end of the world, just die right after. Spam B to skip that text right there. And then you're gonna be right back at the start where we can grab our other two notes that we left. <clears throat> this time we're gonna to go to the left of this tree, grab our notes up here, and then jump across into this lower hold here of the ship. I like to grab the treasure first, and then grab the notes on my way out. You can do it however you want. You can get the notes and the treasure. I don't think it's that much of a difference. Fly over here. Grab the notes on your way up. And then you're gonna come down and flutter over to this uh, token right here. Jump off. Go ahead and break that. Um, a quick way you can do the quick dive is getting talent shot here before you enter. If not, you can just enter and then go into talent shot here and do your quick dive, which remember before we're gonna jump, slide, and then let go of uh, everything. So while we're doing that animation, getting out of talent shot, we're in the water and that's gonna make us quick dive. Um, if you're a uh, faster way would be to just be in talent shot already you can even like get in talent shot as you're sliding in as well but or you can just be in talent shot come in and then just fall and slide and then do it a little bit faster than uh, getting into talent shot here doing the jump and slide but either way you get the uh, right placement for this you want to be right here that's where the jiggy is going to spawn you're not always going to be able to be right there for that but that's where you want to be try and be like right here uh when you're throwing that second piece of gold if you can be if not and you have to be like over here to throw it just do it and then grab the jiggy after it's just a little bit of time save uh if you get it right there uh, then you're going to come back up, back up here, you can get the rest of these feathers, we're going to need them probably. Um, then you're going to fly up, you can do 13 feathers, you can use 13 flaps here to get like right up to the top, or you could save some feathers by doing a beak bomb, it really depends on how many feathers you have and if you're willing to use the feathers, we could get more, obviously. Um, I usually like to just do the 13. It is actually faster too than beak bombing a little bit, but like I said, it's gonna use more feathers. But since I have 19, I'm gonna go for it. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Hold back a little bit and you should be perfect. Uh, if not, you can just beak bomb up here and just try and land on the jiggy in flight. And you're gonna fall down and just grab all the notes and then we're gonna go through the ladder here because we're gonna want this mumbo token right there and the load zones are fast so we can do that go around hit the switch grab these three notes grab this Jinjo and then from here you're gonna want to jump and just spam a and try and see that green Jinjo down there that's that's where we're headed so we're gonna jump off for him
Grab that. Spawn the Jiggy there. Fly up here. Do a little turn. Grab the Jiggy. Try and stay in flight. Do a Beak Bomb into a Ground Pound. And then we're going to go straight for the Honeycomb over here. Grab that. <sighs> Grab that. You're probably going to take a hit from Snacker there. At least one. Then you're going to come over here. Uh, you can get this token. I usually get it because my token route ends up being scuffed as fuck. But... Uh, and I always like to just try and get them. I'm always short tokens by the end. I'm going to try and uh, make the token route legit here though. I'm going to try and follow uh, Nade's no RBA run. And just get the tokens he gets. He actually leaves this token. Um, like I said, if you're not sure about the token route, you could grab it. But for now, we're going to leave it. Now we're going to do Nipper Skip. Uh, you can get into this skip by going into Talon Shot here, kind of running under his claw right here. That's one way. Uh, it's kind of hard to pull off. An easier way to get it is just to backflip up on top here. I like to go on Talon Shot and just jump uh, like to the left here in between his claws and his eyes. Um, and then you're going to jump straight into Nipper and do a, one of these. You're going to jump in like this, turn backwards and do one of those. And then once then you're going to take a hit after that. And while you're inside, you're just going to jump and peck, take a hit, jump and peck. And then he should die. I like, so we're going to just jump here. Press B to skip the text, jump in, rat -a tat rap, take a hit, jump, peck, take a hit, jump, peck. And then we're going to go straight in here. Get the rest of the notes. Grab the eggs. They're going to be useful. You're going to want to just get under this jiggy. Take some damage here until you're at one health. And then just jump up for that jiggy and death warp off the crab. Back to the start. And uh, yeah, then you're out of there. Once you get out, you're going to want to come straight here. Backflip up. I like to get these feathers, they're pretty useful, especially if you did the uh, 13 feathers up to the lighthouse. Grab the Jiggy, the Witch Switch Jiggy. And now we're gonna go uh, open up a cauldron for a, a warp later. So you're gonna climb up here and then go into this pipe down low. Come over here, activate the cauldron. Back over here, grab this token, and then back out. Then we're gonna go straight to Clanker's Cavern. Go ahead and hit the switch. Now, I don't normally get this token. I usually just go straight into the level. There's a token right above the pipe there, but yeah. All right, so now we're in Clanker's Cavern. So that's part two, Treasure Trove Cove. I'm gonna make Clanker's a separate part. So uh, yeah, we will see you in the next video.